What's good tribe, it's energy. I'm back with your guys' energy reading for the month of August. So what I will be looking at is a prediction for the month of August already. We have a card peeking through. We have stop, pause, reflect, stagnation. All right, some of you are very excited for some of your manifestations to be coming in. I'm feeling like there's going to be some type of celebration in the month of August. So August, 2023, I'm gonna be predicting what you can expect in your career, in your love life, in your life in general, what the guidance is for August. And yeah, that's pretty much everything. If you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe to become a part of the tribe. Shout out to all of you new subscribers. I believe I jumped up like eight to 7,000 subscribers. So welcome home if you guys are new to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Last but not least, if you guys are looking for any pick a card readings, you can find those on the tarotchest.com. If you're looking to book a reading or for any information, you can find that also in the description box. So the month of August already, I'm feeling like there's some type of celebration. I'm hearing that it's time to have fun. All right. Time to embrace more fun and play. So I do see some type of celebration. Happy birthday, Leo. If you guys are here, I feel like there could be a lot of Leo celebrating because I'm seeing a lot of events, a lot of birthday parties, gatherings. Okay. Some of you might even get invited to a gathering of a new tribe of people. Some of you I'm hearing are going to be meeting new people in the month of August. I'm feeling there's a big portal that's shifting and it's through this radiance of joy. Yeah, I have nine of pentacles. Okay. So I do see that there is some type of financial gain that you're going to be receiving in the month of August. All right. I'm getting the ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. It says, the inflow of abundance, a promising business venture, important documents or contracts. So you could be receiving a really good business idea that brings you resources, that brings you some type of financial income. All right. This could be on the side of what you are already doing, but I'm definitely seeing that you're going to be channeling more of solutions and more ideas that are centered around playing and having fun. All right. I also see the three of swords. So let's just jump into it. So already the message is stop, break, stagnation. So August is giving it's time to stop and it's time to celebrate. All right. If you feel like your manifestation is not here, I'm hearing play before it comes. All right. Some of you have a new romantic relationship on the horizon. Also with the ace of cups and the two of cups peeking out. Let's get the overall energy for what they can expect for August. what's going on in August. Okay. Five of cups. You are making room for your fulfillment. Okay. Making room for more emotional satisfaction, making joy a priority. Joy is a priority. All right. The hangman, everything that you're going to be experiencing in the month of August is to change your perspective. All right. What are they changing their perspective? We have the Hierophant Taurus energy at the bottom. So you being more aligned with your joy. Okay. Because it doesn't matter what career you have. You're going to find yourself back in the circle. If it's not bringing you joy and fulfillment, you can manifest any career. All right. That is not the issue that I'm seeing here. It is having fulfillment from what you're providing. All right, there's a sweet spot for you business owners or for those of you getting into more financial freedom, financial stability, financial independency, away from co-depending on a company, an employer, a person, even depending on a big check to come, like letting go of that so that you can allow financial freedom to come in for you so that you're not dependent. What I'm hearing is that in August, you're going to be prepared to be more financially free. So your reality will start presenting opportunities for you to feel more financially free. So yes, it may feel uncomfortable to take a vacation, to do something different, to do something simply because it brings you joy. There's a huge shift in perspective as to why this is so important here. All right. With the hangman. So why, what is shifting in your perspective? Let your emotions flow. All right. So some of you have really been focusing a lot on your practical situations. All right. Your home environment, where you're going to live, where you're going to work. All right. Very systematic approach here. 
with the hangman in August, what I'm seeing is that usually the hangman comes after you've avoided an introspective moment in your life, which is why the hangman comes after the hermit. So there is a, a desire that your soul has for more introspection. What do I enjoy? What would be fun? And for those of you who are practical, you're being asked to change. You don't really have a choice, but to change your perspective with the hangman, the hangman comes when it's once again, hands are tied, feet are tied. And it's all for the universe to hold up something. There's some type of delay that is intentional so that you can pay attention, take a stop, take a break and pay attention is what I'm feeling. And to be focused more on your emotions rather than your logic. Okay. Because logic is one tool. Okay. You guys have, might have heard me say this before. Logic is one tool. Think of it as one tool, a screwdriver, and it opens only a specific door. The practical doors, reading instructions, understanding, living in this world, language. However, what you're desiring is fulfillment. And this is coming from a place of your emotion. Logic and fulfillment are not in the same vibrational field. And so in August, you're going to be asked to shift your perspective out of a logical approach here because you're trying to use this same tool to manifest these desires. Your desire is financial freedom, stability, not having to depend on anyone or anything that you feel like you have connection to a source of infinite abundance. This is something you must realize that your provider is the universe. Everything, even the job that you have now, the job that you had before, it was all provided by the universe. All right. So there is something about honoring your emotions and how you feel in August. They are just as important because what you're looking for is fulfillment. And that comes through how you feel. So your feelings are going to be your compass, which may be something new to you if you're a very logical person. All right. So this is a more spiritual belief. We have eight of pinnacles. You've been working very hard. Okay. We have the four of swords. There's a need for resting. Death is at the bottom of that. You could be a Scorpio. You don't have to be. So in August, you are getting prepared to live a life being financially independent and free. What would that feel like for you? Imagine what would you be doing? And there's something about being honest with yourself because whatever you answer that comes from a place of excitement and inspiration is communication from your truest, most authentic version of you. Can you trust that over what you think? Because if you grow up in a home that's two bedrooms, you may think it's the biggest home you've ever lived in or seen until you see something bigger, which is why the mind is just one tool and it only accesses those logical things. What you desire, freedom, <laughs> abundance, love, peace, bliss, happiness, joy is not logical. It is a feeling. So if you've blocked off your emotions or if you've been putting them aside in August, it is time to reel them back in. Five of cups, not to focus on what didn't work. Okay. Not to focus on that. Okay. Focusing on your feelings doesn't always have to be so bad. Okay. Some of you are afraid to go through this door. Okay. I'm feeling some resistance. Okay. But this is where all of your answers are. What makes me happy? What would be fun? What would be exciting? So in August, uh, there's a huge perspective change. Your world may seem upside down. You may get a glimpse of your new life coming in, kind of like a buffer. And you get a little glimpse of it. And this would be called a revelation. But in order for this to happen, the hangman, something is going to hang you, feel, make you feel like your hands are tied and your legs are tied. And that's again, because somehow you may have avoided some type of introspection. And so now you're coming into that place. Eight of pentacles, you've been working very hard. What have you been working very hard towards? 
Let's see. The hangman is also what I call the pit stop card. So for us to get the stop in August, it's time to stop. To stop, reflect, be aware of what feels good, what brings you joy. There's reflection is a big word in August, reflecting. Am I doing this because I'm fulfilled? Because if I was fulfilled doing it, I would feel fulfilled. And then once I got paid, I would feel like I was in a state of abundance because one, I enjoy doing this so much, I get full from it. And then I get paid from it. That feeling is the feeling of overwhelmingness, more than enough. And that's the description of abundance. So many of you are saying, I'm abundant, I'm abundant, but do you really know what this is? Revelation at the bottom, okay? You're getting ready to have a revelation of what it really means to be abundant, what it really feels like to be abundant in the month of August, all right? So you've been working towards, we had the eight of pentacles, joy at the bottom, okay? Steady fast. So I think you've been moving very quickly and once again, understanding there's nothing for you that you need to do, okay? There's an inner knowing you're getting ready to have and receive in the month of August, a promise of the future. How do you know this is your destiny if you don't see it physically? How would you know? You have to feel it. You have to feel it. And the way to feel it, because if you're relying on your mind, your mind has to see it to believe it. You will be waiting for a long time to see something for your mind to then believe in it. All right. Some of you, it's like, take a step back from the actions that you're doing. There's nothing for you to do in a sense of where you have to exhaust yourself, figure it out, action, action, action. The only action should be inspired excitement towards what you love and, and have joy doing. When you connect with this inner knowingness, now once again, you must see it to believe it. So therefore, we have enlightenment at the bottom, okay? We have some crazy stuff happening in August for you if you are here on this video. You are reaching a state of enlightenment, being able to see, being aware of an inner knowing, now you have access to this already through your imagination. Once again, if you have to see it to believe it, have you ever been to some of these places you desire to go physically? No. How would you even know you wanted to go there? In your imagination, you have either seen yourself with the feet in the sand, you've seen yourself checking in, you've seen yourself booking your flight, you've already seen this in your imagination go there more so you can know it more, right? Seeing is believing. Knowing comes from a place of intuition. And the only way you can really know that is if you have a deep connection with your dream world, which is the life that you desire to live. That's where the promise of the future comes from. That's where the revelation comes from. That's when you get enlightened. It just dawns on you. That's what enlightenment means. Someone comes in and just kind of turns this light on. So you're having a huge revelation in the month of August. I believe some of you are getting ready to channel, okay, not figure out, but channel a specific idea and it can only be channeled, okay, because this is something that's going to supersede your intelligence, okay? If you're connected to abundance and wealth, that means whatever ideas are being given to you specifically are meant to produce abundance and wealth. So in this space of receiving, you can only see that it is really a channeling where you're just opening yourself up to receiving the messages, all right, versus going to try to now figure out a business, figure out how to get financial freedom, unless, of course, you really have fun doing that. And some of you will say you only have fun, you know, because the money, et cetera. You must have fun even if you weren't getting anything in return the act of actually doing this, whatever this is, you're creating it, okay? I'm hearing that you're a creator, you're a cultivator, okay? It could be music, could be energy reading, all right? So whatever you're cultivating, what you have a desire towards that's bringing you joy is also naturally 
going to inspire ideas where you can share what you're cultivating and receive abundance from it. It'll be an idea that you will feel like, oh, wow, why didn't I think of this? Because once again, your mind is limited. It cannot think of that when it hasn't been taught that. Therefore, it's very limited. So you're trying to use a limited tool to get into a door that requires the tool of your feelings of emotions, of your imagination. Where are you being led outside of this physical world? Okay, because the physical world is the reflection. We're behind if we're just focusing on the physical world. All right, so this is definitely enlightenment talk, understanding. You are meant to have a deeper connection with the universe, with your higher self, the version of you that is already healed the version of you that is so full of life and joy you would rather not be doing anything else but whatever this is just because it brings you so much joy you feel like you're receiving i'm hearing some of you may even get a revelation that you're overlooking what you're doing so freely not realizing that this is also a resource that is going to it's a path or a source that's going to provide income and resources for you. What can they expect to happen in the month of August? All right, high priestess and the hermit. And it comes out, you guys. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Like I said, some of you guys could have been avoiding this. The emperor, okay? That's very interesting. We're going to get into why the emperor is at the very bottom. All right? The path, the plan will be given to you easily in your imaginative world. Okay, we have the high priestess. Some of you could be getting into oracle readings. Some of you could be getting into tarot readings. Some of you could be connecting more with your higher self through cards, through divination tools, through waking up saying, okay, the universe communicate with me today. And you'll see a sign, you'll hear a song. When you're tuned in with that intention, you will know it's coming directly from the universe. Now, who else is doing this on this planet besides you? So you're rare. You're very rare if you're here. You're very rare. You wouldn't have attracted this frequency of energy if you were not. All right. So you are operating in the highest chakra in the month of August, which is your crown chakra. Being open to channeling outside information. This is not for you to figure out. It's being revealed. It's for you to actually enjoy. That's why you're here is to enjoy what this is. But somehow you got caught up in the world per usual, like we always do. So you're taking authority over your life here with the emperor. And I do see you're going to be receiving justice from this. This is going to be moving very fast. It could be taking off towards the end of August. Once you get this idea channeled message or a path, it's almost like you'll never go back to your disbelief because in your imaginative world, whatever's being shown to you, the universe and higher self is showing you a life of freedom, financial freedom, independence, stability, and you're doing what you love to do. It's like a double jackpot. You, you feel like you are so lucky that you get to do this, but then you also feel like overwhelmed because you actually get to receive from doing this as well. It seems too good to be true. And you know what I say about that? If it's too good, then it's too God. It's too good, meaning it's too true. It's too true not to be true. So I'm really, really seeing that you're getting ready to have justice for something paying off. All right, something is paying off. Your enlightenment is your biggest source of freedom is what I'm hearing. Freedom and abundance. You know enough truth to be abundant from just what you know. You have enough in your energy field right now, I'm hearing, to be abundant and wealthy and free and happy and living a joyful life. Now, I'm seeing you in such a vibration that you feel so much joy. All you want to do is share it. Like all you want to do is talk about this and 
share it with other people. So you may share it through lyrics. You may share it through music. You may share it through books, through words, through videos, through your family, through your grandchildren, through your friendships. You have so much joy about this working out, manifestation being real, the universe being real, your intuition leading you to these opportunities. You are going to be the person that shares these stories. So I'm hearing in August, take a step back and make your priority your joy. Because if that is your priority, then that's what you're going to attract in everything you do. Because that's your priority. That has not been your priority. Survival has been your priority. Manifesting material things, manifesting love. And once again, if you feel like you have to manifest it, it's because you believe that you don't have it already. The version of you that you're connecting with that is guiding you, where do you think it's guiding you from? A place you desire to go. <laughs> A lot. This is deep. It's time. I'm hearing it's time for you. Okay, so there's going to be an energetic movement I'm getting that you're going to be feeling in the month of August. So let this excitement create inspiration and just follow it. Don't try to figure it out. Don't try to figure out, oh, this is why I did this. I really see just being open to joy. That's it. It sounds so easy. Just being open to joy and what makes you happy and what makes you feel good. That is a sign that you're connecting with the universe. All right, let's see what else is here for the month of August 2023. At the very bottom, again, we have the hermit. Spend time in quiet meditation, spiritual teaching, self-discovery. In August could be the 8-8 portal. If you guys want to take advantage of level 11, we're going to be doing an episode called The Abundant Life of an Angel. All right. Someone who is pure, someone who is compassionate, someone who desires to be in joy, someone who desires to help the world, someone who desires to share their light. That's an angel. Yes, you're an earth angel. Check out that episode down below if you guys want to be a part of it. There's only 44 slots and this is for the highest mastery of enlightenment teachings. The reason why I say this is because the 8-8 portal is in August. And there is a huge energetic downgrade I believe you're going to be receiving going into 8-8, okay? So you may be feeling it on 8-9 more than you do 8-8 for, for those of you because you are really getting downloads. I'm feeling like it's going to be inspiration on steroids, which is why you're getting the warning to just take a step back unless it makes you feel joy. When you're doing it out of joy, you're also getting an energetic boost. So you don't realize that energy is a frequency. It makes a difference. It's not physical, but it affects you. And sometimes you don't realize what it is that's making you feel this way. And it's your energy. So I'm seeing to be aware of your surroundings. Be aware of when you feel good and what takes you out of that state. What is it that's taking you out of that state? Really being aware. Your third eye is opening wide okay you think you've seen before you're getting ready to see a lot more in the month of august there's there's a lot of high priestess energy there's a lot of um illusions that you've been believing in all right i have to do this to do this i have to do this to do this no that is only if you go the logic way there is another way it is through your emotions how you feel does it make you feel good all right. So plans that need revision more on more going on than meets the eye, poor timing. So whatever it is that you're ready to make happen in August, it feels like you're right there. You're right there with making a decision, but it's more so right there with seeing the path. It's going to be revealed to you and you're going once again, you'll never go back to not having to believe because you know, once you know, this is for you, whatever this is, this life that's being shown to you, this path that's shown for you, there's never any going back. You don't have to go back. You don't have to force yourself to believe. You don't have to affirm it. You will just know. So this is coming through a revelation that you're having. And it's like the universe is going to show you how it's going to work out. And all you see is it's working out. And so it, it's a very, it's like something that brings you so much comfort. You will know 
it's communication because it's going to bring you comfort, assurance, and safety to let you know, yes, it works out. So now what, what are you going to do when it works out? Have you thought about that? That's what spirit's like. You haven't even thought about if it works out all the way. Have you imagined that? You still have the time to take a step back and get what you truly desire. Okay. With whatever this is. Okay. So I see your plans changing. I see you feeling more confident with the path that's going to be revealed to you because now, you know, you're for certain what's to come in August, three cards. Thank you. Perfect. Three. We have the three of fire abundance. Things look very good. Have patience at this time, make long-term plans. So many people plan for retirement, but they don't plan on what they're going to do after that. Some of you, you're retiring early, whatever that word is, retirement, <laughs> you're redefining it is what I'm hearing. Okay. You are not like everyone else. You are not here to live a path of suffering. You are not here to live a path of poverty, of brokenness, of lack of knowledge. You are highly aware, very sensitive and in tune, but you must be using that tool more often. The, so you must use that tool more often. Seven of water, a complex decision, the need to do research, stop procrastinating and balance. So your three cards and what you're going to be experiencing is there is a, an abundance coming in. You're going to see how it's going to come in. You're going to be revealed some type of path or plan. Again, this is coming through a channeled idea or message. And you're going to think, why didn't I think of that? And that's because you can't think outside of what the, the brain has been programmed to do. It's like a computer. If it's not upgraded all the time, meaning evolving, it gets lost with time. It gets put in. I'm hearing a lot of you guys, for some of you, you could be in an older generation getting more in touch with technology, embracing these new changes that are happening in this life. You're still young. All right. Your, your soul has no age. Your soul has no gender. Your soul is free. Okay. So there's a balance coming in. We have Sagittarius energy, very strong here coming back to yourself, your true self. What would I be doing if I were financially free? Would I still be going here? Would I still be hanging out with you? Would I still be compromising here? So the need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise, wait for perfect timing. You're hearing August is not the time to launch anything or to do or to make a decision that is going to change the li your life forever. There's a need to revise and make sure that you enjoy what you're getting ready to commit to. It will be easy to commit to it. If you are naturally in joy, you are naturally inspired people I'm hearing will even offer you money. Hey, uh, you do really good work at this. You do, but you may not love doing that. You will have to say, no, even though money is involved, this means you're getting prepared. You're getting prepared for contracts. You're getting prepared to, to choose the reality you really want. Because I'm seeing that once you're financially free, a lot of opportunities are going to come in and not all of them are going to be aligned with your freedom and your joy. So for some reason right now, it's important that you have balance with what you're doing because you enjoy it and what your contribution is to the world because you believe you have to. There's got to be a balance here with your joy. So it's giving heavy spiritual al alignment in the month of August. Be very aware. Your sensitivity to energy is very heightened in the month of August. And that is because you, you are focused on your joy. You're finally saying this doesn't make me happy. This isn't bringing me joy. So spirit is saying, stop, take a step back and, and find the feeling of joy, freedom, and love. And where is that bringing you towards? Okay. So there's a three of wands is also the patience card. So with the nine of pentacles, all right, with where we started, this is about your financial independence, 
because a lot of your decisions of compromising joy are due to finances. So if the 10 of pentacles would have came out, this would be a couple of relationship. There's something about your authenticity is more real when money is not involved. Because a lot of the times we don't realize we're just doing it because of the money or because there's something to gain from it. So I'm definitely seeing that. Can you get comfortable with relaxing by the pool and knowing that money is still coming? Because you're desiring abundance. You're desiring to be financially free. So you must start getting comfortable with that vibration. And that vibration is not worry. It's not lack. It's relaxation. Think about if you're abundant, you're not going to be worried. Okay. Not to say some abundant people are not worried, but with this frequency of abundance, it it's naturally like saying I'm abundant. I wouldn't worry about money because I'm abundant. I would be relaxing by the pool, reading a book, shopping, doing what I love to do. I would be getting comfortable with that energy. So you can get comfortable with even being abundant. Okay. So once again, changing your frequency, changing your perspective is what's coming in August. You are being shifted to change your perspective. This allows you to be the emperor, the one who's able to be an authority of your life and not your life happening to you. All right. So there's a lot of spiritual downloads you're going to be receiving in August. Let's look at their love life. Judgment. All right. We have judgment, six of pentacles. All right. Nine of cups. Those of you who are single, I'm hearing that you're calling in your soulmate. You're calling in a partner. Get comfortable with the vibration and the frequency of what this person would feel like. They are part of your path on your purpose. Once again, that means that they're going to be aligned with joy. They're going to be in a frequency of relaxation. So in order to meet this person, you must be in the same frequency. And so you are actually preparing even for a person in the frequency you desire to be, right? You desire to be at peace. You desire to live in bliss. You desire to be free. You desire to be in love. All right. So obviously that's what you're going to desire in a partner as well. And in order to attract that, you must really be in the vibration of that with the judgment, being in that vibration, imagining yourself already in that vibration. So whoever you're becoming is who you're attracting is what I'm hearing. So that version of you, the healthy version of you, there's something about your health. That's very important. Being aware of your body in August, drinking water, drinking electrolytes, not just water, but, um, some type of minerals and vitamins to absorb that. Be aware. What is your body telling you? Is it aching? Have you stretched? <laughs> All right. What is the point of being abundant if you don't feel good to, to spend it? It's like going on vacation and you're, you feel so bad. Your body feels bad or you're tired. It's like, what, what's the point of this? You want to be able to enjoy. So take care of your body. Also in the month of August, your body, I'm hearing if you're here, your body is speaking to you. Do not rely on someone else to tell you how you feel. You must be in tune. Don't pay someone else to tell you how you feel. It's not worth it. All right. So there's something about self-love, loving yourself in August. All of this is giving back to you, nurturing you, and you start to feel more valuable and you start to attract more value. You are the magnet. So whatever you are is what you're attracting. Are you free? Are you in joy? And none of that costs money. You don't have to go to the beach to feel peace. And if you think you do, then you're codependent on that exact experience. It has to be this way for me to receive peace. And so will you receive that? Possibly, but up, if it's up to you and your faith, it may take you three years to get to the beach. But spirit is saying right here and right now, you can feel peace by just simply tuning into what would peace feel like. I feel your future self is coming through with a, a message. Let's get a text message from your future self. What do you want them to know? Your purpose is to simply exist is what the card says just to exist. You're already living your purpose by existing. 
Now you're here to exist in joy. You're here to enjoy. That, that was the whole point. And you're going to realize this on your spiritual journey. Okay, because you have more questions before you, you completely dive into your faith. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with having questions. It's just, will you allow the answers to come? And they're only coming in this place of silence and solitude, introspection, judgment. You have temperance, judgment, high priestess. You have my most heaviest hitters of spirituality in this deck. And then you have enlightenment. There is no place higher than to be enlightened. It means to know the truth. And the truth is, is that you are not made to suffer. You are not made to just pay bills and do this over and over and over and over again until promises of the future. All right. You don't have to wait to retire is what I'm hearing. This is just truth. Even right now, if this is a preview of August, it's just a bunch of channeled messages just coming through. You're going to just start receiving this. Uh, uh, I'm hearing about your love life. What the truth is of what you desire is some of you may even be connected to someone that you like. But if you were to look at what you truly desire for some of you, you will realize it's not a match on a frequency base. So you would have to compromise. So you've been doing a lot of compromising and now it's time for you to receive. So once you get this, okay, I feel like after August, there's such a big shift where you're like, oh, okay, I get it that things move very quickly. All right, what do you want them to know, spirit? You are meant to shine, okay? You are a star, you're meant to shine. You are meant to live your dreams. You've been chosen. You've been chosen. <laughs> if anything, you've answered the call. Everyone is chosen, but who will answer the call? Even with judgment. We have the music. Music could be very significant, very significant. You were meant to shine. I am preparing your life partner at the bottom of the deck. So there's your answer for judgment. You have an actual life partner. I, I don't want to say twin flame, but again, not everyone has a twin flame. And that's because you must be in the embodiment of a flame, passion, in love, full of life, full of love, answering your calling, walking in your purpose. And only you know what that feels like when you know you're meant to be somewhere. That would be the duplicate of you. That version of you, many people don't reach this version of them. The one that's healthy, the one that's abundant, the one that is aligned with their true destiny. You're coming up as an emperor. You're meant to be the one in charge of your life and what you say happens, which is why pretty soon, it's crazy I'm even saying this, you may not even care to rely on tarot to bring you messages. It'll just come directly to you. Because if you're waiting for the tarot to tell you what you want, you will just be in the waiting stage. Waiting is creating. You're creating by choosing to wait for someone to tell you what's going to happen. So me, I'm an energy reader and I'm just tuning into the energy of August. You can also do the same thing by simply asking the universe, okay, what can I expect for August? What do you want me to know for August spirit? What do you want me to know? If it feels good, follow it. Oh, okay, cool. Well, thank you. So that means that whatever's coming to me in August, this is perfect guidance for me. If it feels good, I'm just gonna follow it. And boom, you've just connected into the vibration of August. You have the same gift. You have the same gift. Okay. You already know the answer you seek. What do you want to happen in August? So you're getting this revelation that, hmm, I'm making this all happen by my beliefs, by my thoughts, by how I feel. My vibration is what's attracting everything. And if I don't feel good, I'm probably not gonna attract as much good. Good can still come because good is so amazing. 
that you can't run from good. It'll be there even if you're in the most crappiest mood. It'll still be in your face like, hey, that's how good God is. <laughs> like you can't, you can't not see God. It's so funny when I get on TikTok and people say they do these debates and they're like, prove that God doesn't exist. I think it's the other way around. I think you would have to prove God doesn't. Because this is plenty of proof. So you would have to prove that God doesn't exist. To be honest. Because it's the truth. You would have to prove something other than the truth. The truth does not have to prove itself. It just is. It doesn't have to prove itself. There doesn't need to be a debate. There is no debate around truth. And there's just so much coming in for you for August. Okay. It's not about being right or wrong. It's about what is the truth? Because the truth is always right. But again, it's not about being right. Some of you may care more about being right about your circumstances. See, I knew this was going to happen. Yes, you're making this. You're attracting this. And until you claim your power and authority, the high priestess and the emperor, you will not realize that you have the wand in your hand the whole time. And I'm like, hey, 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 put that down. And you're like, put what down? I don't see anything that I'm doing. And here I am, an energy reader, looking at your energy. The more you begin to read energy, the more you will be able to read it. When you operate in that tool, you're able to see more of that tool. So I'm seeing you manifest, but you're not seeing the energy. You're not seeing that you're manifesting this all. You manifested this video, every single thing. So there's something about you tuning in to what you want. And if you have the authority, what, once again, you have a partner here. Just release it is what we have. So anything that is not aligned. So now it's like now that your life is changing in August. Yes, you will be asked to release some stuff. And it's not even God saying you need to release this. It's more so of like, dang, this is heavy and it's getting heavier. It might be time to release this is what I'm getting. So it's a celebration because you get what you want. It would be a crisis if you didn't know you are the one making it happen. So care more about being aligned with what feels good rather than what you think is right or wrong. Because it's not about being right or wrong. Do you want to be right about suffering? Do you want to be right about being broke or, or uh, unhappy? Of course not. Of course you don't want to be right about that. But your reality will begin to convince you that your mind is right. See, see, I told you, but that's because you are going to attract what you're focused on. And if you're focused on, it's not going right. This is not that I'm not trapped. I'm trapped. I don't know what to do. I don't know. That is what you're going to manifest more of those feelings. Okay. So this whole entire August is a huge revelation month to align you with the highest version of yourself. You're not here to suffer. You're here to enjoy. You're here to have fun. You're here to explore. You're here to play, but it cannot just be me here to tell you this because even in the matrix, Neo went to the Oracle and the Oracle said, you are not the one, but she knew he was because she needed him to believe it and know it for himself. So even if I tell you this and other tarot readers tell you this, I'm seeing that in August, you're going to see it for yourself. It's time for you to experience these revelations happening in your life. Yes, it's unknown, but it's very exciting because that means that anything is possible. Anything is possible. So once again, care less about being right about your victim state of life and own the conqueror, the emperor in you and say, you know what? I'm going to choose different. I'm, I'm going to choose to see what I want to see. I want to see better friendships around with compassion, with empathy, with inspiration and support. 
I'm going to start imagining myself in those vibrations. I'm going to start imagining myself free and relaxing by the pool, but also allowing myself to relax, knowing that everything is okay. I'm going to start imagining myself and expanding my consciousness into what I truly desire and not what I don't just because I'm right, because reality seems to be proving that. Yes, reality is on your side. It's, it's doing what you want it to do. That's what you have to come into the conclusion of. You're the one making it all happen. And it, sometimes it's like, oh, well, dang. So you, so you mean to tell me I wanted this to happen? And we don't understand that even bad things are for our good. Is it the universe making the bad happen? No, it's us getting ourselves into predicaments that are bad and the universe mysteriously makes it good. So there's so much to learn about what is this? This universe, my vibration, law of attraction, manifestation. What is this? August is the month you're going to find out. Huge revelations coming in August. Okay. And you're surrounded by so much love and so much support. You have a life partner that you're that's being prepared for you. Okay. Your blessings are here. But if you're not in a high enough vibration to see them, you won't see them. You'll miss them. That's why you have to be in joy to receive joy. Wash away your burdens, okay? So let it all go. Just release it in August, whatever's being revealed to you. Some things you'll see and you're like, you're going to be like, dang, dang it. I'm going to have to release this. I'm going to have to release this, okay? And yes, you're going to know before it's time because you're enlightened. You might as well say you're seeing into the future, but what future are you seeing? Do you want to see this work out for the best or are you seeing the worst okay something i've been hearing a lot of prepare for the worst why would you prepare for the worst you're gonna get what you're preparing for and even if it's not to that capacity prepare for the best how about that how about we prepare for the good how about good things come easily miracles are normal that's where you're challenging yourself is to believe in the good to believe that it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Oh my job. It's all good. Oh, the relationship. It's all good. There's no bad. Okay. There's no bad. So again, higher state of awareness with love and kindness, you're doing this. So this isn't something that you're going on some type of rampage and you're cutting people off Edward Scissorhands, which you might be because that's what July was given, snip, snip, snipping away, <laughs> okay? Like I said, are you my role mate or are you my soul mate? Do we connect beyond the role? Do we connect beyond business? Do we connect beyond sibling? Do we connect, all right? So with love and kindness, I see that you're doing this. And then the last message for you for August and what to prepare for, once again, you're preparing for your life partner. If someone were to come in right now, they would be reflecting the energy you're in. And you'd have to ask yourself, is this what you would want to be in a relationship with? Are you someone right now in the energy? And only you know that, that honest answer of, yes, I feel good to receive, right? Once again, even if you're on vacation, if you're worried and concerned, how are you receiving? Relaxation or joy? You might as well have stayed home where your worry and stress is, right? So even though you're doing something that's relaxing, do you feel relaxed? It's not about what you're doing. It's the feeling, okay? Because you're even doing it to feel it. Everything goes back to how you feel. So if it feels good, follow it, all right? If it feels good, follow it. In, in August, you need nothing. Spirit is leaving us with that. You need nothing to make this happen. Again, you don't need a book. You don't need a pool. All you need is the ability to let go of what is conflicting with what you desire. And in this sense, it's peace. It's freedom. Make space for what you are asking for. And again, remember, these are not things you can just pick up at Amazon. Like peace and freedom. Let me get... Let me get a good zap of that freedom. Like how could we even deliver a vibration? So it must be worth 
more than money. I wonder how much people would pay to just feel good. Feel good when a breakup comes. Feel good when they quit. Feel good when they lose something. That feeling is priceless. That's because you're literally feeling the energy of you taking yourself and plugging you into the highest source of energy that created every galaxy here, every planet here. There's more. There's more to know. And the more you know, the more safe you're going to feel. The more sure you're going to feel because you desire right now I'm feeling certainty. What's the truth? What, what can I be certain of? How do I know this? Walk through it and you'll see. You got to walk through. You got to walk through. Okay. So huge spiritual shifts. And if you are here, I might just be your tribe leader. And where are you being guided to? The light, the truth of why you're here. And you're here to feel good. So when you feel good, it is evidence that you are connected to God. There's another quote, just pouring out. Just some of you guys might write down quotes and people will say, oh my gosh, that's so profound. It was given to you. That was just given to me. So it's the same thing for you. You're receiving downloads all the time. This would be a good idea. Where do you think that's coming from? Some of you have ideas to do things and you've never even been to the places, you've never even touched the material it requires, but somehow you've imagined it. How? How can you imagine something you've never seen physically? There's a whole nother world and you're connecting to it in August and it's magical, all right? I wanna get one more card still. They're still telling me to get another card here. Surrender, okay? Personal transformation is what you're going through in August, which is why Spirit is saying, take a step back. Take a step back and let yourself have room for joy. Joy is very healing. All right, laughter. Some of you could be a comedian. Walk into what you desire. Now is the time. You will get paid for your imagination. Some people cannot even imagine. Can you imagine that? Some people cannot even imagine. That's why they pay to go to movies, to see movies. Help me imagine more. Disney. <laughs> wow. You guys are profound, powerful creators. And it's not about hearing this message anymore. It's about actually seeing it come to fruition because it's true and it works because it's the truth. And it'll always be aligned and it'll always resonate because it's the truth. So when you're aligned with the truth, there's no such thing as being right or wrong. When you're aligned with the truth, you'll pick up a book and read the first two sentences and say, this is not the truth. I don't think I'm gonna get much from this book. Because when you're connected with the truth, you know all. The truth source is all knowing. So if I connect with an energy that's all knowing, what do I become? All knowing, which is why I, I know this because I'm connected and so are you. So in August, deep dive and connect with this. Surrender with figuring it out. And if anything, it should feel good to see, whew, thank God I don't gotta figure that out because if I did, <laughs> it might've taken me three lifetimes. Exactly. You're just the receiver. Universe is like, yo, I'm gonna throw you this idea. We're gonna make it happen, I'm gonna send the people in, but what do we do? We get the idea and we go ham. Okay, I'm gonna make this happen, I'm gonna go to school, I'm gonna get this loan. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? We think these ideas and images are for us to make happen. The universe is saying, no, I'm just giving you a preview so you know where you're going, so you know which movie this is. It's deep, okay, it's deep. So if you guys wanna be a part of that level 11, you can save your seat down below where we're actually talking in depth about enlightenment, which is very rare to find. So even for you to be here, you're rare. Can you accept this? Can you accept it? So don't forget to subscribe. Can't wait to see what you guys are manifesting in the month of August. Share your ideas with others. Share your revelations. Share these moments you're having, even if it's in your voice memo or if it's a video to yourself. Share, record, connect is what I'm hearing. All right, so I'm out. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next reading. I'm out, love and light.